scientific notation is a uh, simplest and easiest way of writing down very small and very large numbers using powers of 10 in exponential notation. Exponent tells the number of times the decimal point is moved from its original place to right or from the original place to the left. And to easily understand this rule, let's see this general. <laughs> Here is the rule. We have capital M dot N times 10 raised to N, where M or the capital M represent the whole number. And remember that the whole number should always be less than to 10. And the decimal place is the capital N. It represents the capital N. And the 10 represents as the base. So it is very essential in exponential notation. And the N is the exponent. So it is very important. This rule is very important in scientific notation rule. So better to take the note. Let's try this example. The whole number should less than 10, so it is 3.5 times 10 raised to 3. So that's a correct example. So the first rule, the exponent is negative if the decimal point is moved from left to right. So in order for us to understand this example, let's say we have this value. Let's say we have 0 0.0 Okay, let's say we have 0 0.0 0 0 Then 0 0 0 0 5 4 the exponent is negative if the decimal point is moved is starting from the left then we are going to the right so again based on our general rule the whole number should be less than 10 so let's move 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 again the whole number should be less than 10 so 5 is less than 10 so we have we move 8 move so we have 5.4 then the base is 10 5.4 times 10 and it should be negative so the exponent should be negative because we move from left going to the right so 5.4 times 10 raised to negative 8 so understood okay let's try another example for you to easily understand this concept again moving from left to right so that's the rule so let's say we have 0 0.0052 so let's move from left to right so one two three oh it should be less than 10 the whole number so 5 is less than 10 so it is correct so we have 5.2 times 10 then we move 3 from left to right so we have 5.2 times 10 raised to negative 3 so, what you can see is the negative exponent represent a small digit number. So, let's try another example. So, let's say we have 0 0.00043. Then, move again 1, 2, 3, 4. So, let's stop here because our whole number it should be less than 10 so we have 4.3 times 10 raised to negative 4 so that's our first rule if we move from left to right so it should be negative now 
let's try if the exponent is positive. If it is moving, now starting from the right, then to the left. So, let's try this example. Let's try this example. So, it should be positive, the exponent, if we move from right to left. So, let's try this example for us to easily understand this concept. So, let's say, let's say we have this given value. Let's say we have 5 million. So, let's say we have 5 million. Now, the decimal point here is at the end of the value. So, from right to left. So, at the end. Because it is a whole number. So, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, we stop here. Why? Because the whole number should be less than 10. So, we have 5.0 times 10 raised to 6. Because we move from right to left 6, six times. Let's try another example. Let's say we have four five zero 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 zero. All right. So we move one. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay? Stop here. So, we have 4.5 times 10 raised to 7. So, that's it. That's the answer. Let's try this another example. Let's say we have... 4,300 so let's move 1, 2, 3 so we have 4.3 so 4.3 times 10 raised to 3 so that's our rule in terms of exponent after knowing the rules in exponent now we are going to the rules in scientific notations operation so again let's try first addition and subtraction so here's the rule in addition and subtraction let's say we have this example for you to easily understand this concept let's try first addition let's say we have quantity 1.3 times 10 raised to add or plus to two quantity 2.4 times 10 times 10 raised to 2 the rule here it should be the same exponent okay it should be the same exponent for you to add this to quantity if it is not then you need to create something but for now let's try this first so it should be the same so the exponent are same so we can easily add this so let's copy the base and the exponent then let's add 3 plus 4 is 7 then 1 plus 2 is 3 so that's the rule so we have 3.7 times 10 raised to 2 so that's it that's the rule it should be the same exponent now let's try this example we have quantity 5.0 times 10 okay, times 10 raised to 2 minus 2.5 times 10 raised to 2. Again, check first if the exponent is same. And since the exponent is same, so we can easily subtract it. We have 5.0 times 10 raised to 2 minus 2.5 2.5 times 10 raised to 2. Then again, copy the base and the exponent. Then subtract, perform the operation. 5.0 minus 2.5 is 2.5. So we have 2.5 times 10 raised to 2. Now, what if the exponent are not the same? 
try this example. Let's say we have quantity 5.3 times 10 raised to 6 plus 1.4 times 10. 1.4 times 10 raised to 5. The problem here is we have different exponent. So what we do is to remember our general rule. It should be the whole number is not less than 10. So let's transform this. If we move from right to left, then we are going to have a positive exponent. Therefore, we move one time to have 0 0.14. So if we move one time, we add positive 1 on the exponent. We have positive exponent. So, 0 0.14 times 10 raised to 6 is okay because 0 is less than 10. So, we have 0 0.14 times 10 raised to 6. Okay. Now, then, it is okay because they have the same exponent. So, we can easily add this too. Okay. That's the thing. It should be the same exponent. So, you need to think of a way. And that's the way. Now, after knowing the scientific notation rules in addition and subtraction, let's try the multiplication rule. So, by this time, we have this given. Let's say we have quantity 2.4 times 10 raised to 5 times quantity 4.5 times 10 raised to 3. In multiplication, it is not necessary to have same exponent. Okay? Just simply multiply 2.4 and 4.5. So, we have 10.8 times 10. Then, simply add this to 5 plus 3 is 8. But in general rule, 10 is not applicable. Because it should be less than 10, the whole number. So, what we need to do is to move. If we move here, we move from right to left. So, we have positive sign. And we move one time. So, we add 1 to the exponent. Because we move one time. So, it becomes 1.08 times 10 raised to 9. Because we add 1 because we move from right to left. So, it should be positive. Again, let's try another example. Let's try if we have negative sign exponent. The first thing we need to do is just simply multiply 2.4 and 4.5. Again, it will become 10.8. Then, let's add 5 and negative 3. So, we have positive 2. 5 minus 3 is positive 2. Let's move this. It should be less than 10, so it become 1.08 times 10. We add, we move from right to left one time, so we add 1 to 2. So that's the answer. Gets? Now let's move on to the final to the final scientific notation rules operation. So let's say this division. We have what if we have 4.5 times 10 raised to 5? Divided by 2.4 times 10 raised to 2. Times 10 raised to 2. Again, it is not necessary to have same exponent. But let's perform an operation between 4.5 divided by 2.4 and we get 1.875. Then, copy the base and subtract the exponent. So, we have 1.875 times, okay, Let's subtract 5 and 2. We have times 10. 5 minus 2 is 3. That's it. And if you are thinking why 1.875 is the answer, because it is on based on scientific figure. So, significant figure rather. It should be based on significant figure. And we are going to tackle that on our next video tutorial. So, let's say we have again this example. And 
we have different exponent and we have negative 5 minus 2. So we have negative 7. The answer is this.